Uh, hardest and the easiest. Hardest. Um, I, I guess the easiest would be um, any action scenes were really easy for me because I was on the ship. <laughs> I think, if, I think if the series had gone on, that it would have become a joke, that there's always a point in the episode where somebody goes, Wash, we need to get out of here! <laughs> you got it, Captain. Click, 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 click. <laughs> and then all I do is go like this. And then they cut to this amazing dramatic stuff, and I'm just... <laughs> That stuff was pretty, that, was, that stuff was fun. Uh, can I, may, if I, if I may interject just for a moment. I remember there was a day where uh, we were filming war stories. There was a couple times, there was a couple times where you said, oh my God, I can't believe how early we have to get up in the morning sometimes. And I'm looking at you. Dude, I'm here every day. And then we did, this, we did the episode War Stories together and Alan looks at me and says, we're out in the desert. 5.30 in the morning, way out in the desert. You have to leave at 3.30 to get out to this spot in the desert. Yeah. You like it because you can drive fast. But he'd look at me and say, so, so this is your schedule, eh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you do every day? I, I doubt he said A. a. <laughs> I was Canadian back then. He was trying to do that for me. He did that for me. Yeah, yeah Nathan's schedule is a lot harder than mine for sure. Uh, but I, I would say the hardest would have been when we did War Stories. Absolutely. Not just the waking up, all that probably added to it, but our electrocution thing. Oh my god. You clench your head. muscles and you jiggle around and you do all that kind of stuff. Do that for like eight hours in a day. And see if you don't wake up the next day feeling like you were actually electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> my head was all bruised on the back for that like, two days, and the next day I came back, I was like, oh, my head's all tender from hitting that, that stretcher we were on. That's right, I got out. I got, I got, I got sprung from jail. You stayed in there. <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about you, Nathan? <laughs> I'll agree. That was a really hard day. There were some days out in the desert that were really hard. Grabbing in the dirt, grabbing for the coins and the, the guns, and uh, when we were switching over the cows. Thanks. Same. And I, I remember taking my pants off at the end of the day going, oh my god, there's more sand in my shorts than there is outside. <laughs> Getting dirty all the time, it was gross and dirty. But it was always fun, it's always a labor of love. It wasn't tough, it was, it was awesome. I was with you guys. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't remember any bad days. Yeah. History is a way of doing that, filtering out the crap. That's why you always say, like, why can't music be like it was in the 60s? The 60s had a lot of crappy music. <laughs> the 60s had some great music. Also. Yeah, it had some great music. You just don't hear the crappy music anymore. I think that deserves a card, Alan. I'd like to give you a card. This is of a show called Firefly. <laughs> You can have a card or this Hyatt <laughs> map. <laughs> it's a tough one. You know what? I changed my mind. Hi, this is a question for Nathan. Um, Morena will be answering this question. <laughs> uh, who do you think would win in a fight, Captain Hammer or Mal? She said, who's Captain Ham? <laughs> Captain Hammer was the name of a character I played in a little musical I did with a certain Joss Sweet. I saw it! I watched it! That was Captain Hammer. Hey, I didn't know that was his name. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> you had a big hammer on his shirt, you know. Get a, get a hammer on your, his chest, that might confuse you. <laughs> I was too busy watching your pretty face. Thank you, Marina. Nice save. Nice save. <laughs> I think we're going to have to go with Mal, because Mal is a badass across the board. Woo! And I'm 
Yeah, I'm a little biased. I think that's, that's the way to go. I, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Correct. Uh, Alan, give the lady a card. No, wait. Jewel, give the lady a card. <laughs> Next question. Jewel. Alan goes, tell her it has our images on it. <laughs> You might not have heard me earlier. <laughs> this question is for Jewel. On Stargate Atlantis, Dr. Keller and Ronan had a really hot little moment. Nothing happened. Now we've got Dr. McKay professing his love. Who do you really belong with? <laughs> Ronan! Here. Because the, the, the go ahead, laugh. Because because the, the connection that Keller has with Ronan is purely physical. Everyone knows that, right? But the connection that she has with Rodney is intellectual and profound and positive. So let's think about let's think about here, let's think long term. A show of hands, who do you who says Ronan? <laughs> I don't think so. Who, who says McKay? I agree with him. I think Keller is, a, is an intellectual girl, and I think she will choose the right match for her in the long term. And for the other guy. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> oh, and over here. That was fast. <laughs> okay, so um, Firefly, when Fox aired it, it was all out of order. Uh, how, bro how broken up were you, how broken up were you guys to, um, to realize that they were going to air it with... Um, the train job being first and Serenity going last. <laughs> uh, we were the last to know. <laughs> we're just actors. <laughs> we know we're the, we're the first faces you see when you're watching the TV, but we're at the bottom of the pile. I, I remember Joss being like, it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna do it this way and it's gonna be totally fine. It's totally fine. I was right behind him. Joss is right, everybody, don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. This is what we're show. Look at what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> We've done the impossible. <laughs> that makes us mighty. <laughs> <Joel? laughs> I don't think any of us are really happy about it. I, I think that sort of um, ruined the whole uh, surprise of the pilot. I mean, there was a lot of things in there that you weren't supposed to know how they were going to turn out. I mean, yeah. that was the whole point. And, um, yeah, so I think we were all, I think we knew then, I, I knew then, you know then, that we were kind of in trouble a little bit. I, I Maybe honestly, they didn't get us. blindly was like, if John says it's okay, I mean, you sort of just do what a network says because you really have no choice and you sort of just try to pretend that it's going to be fine. You yeah. hope for the best. Yeah. But, I was living um, in a dream world. <laughs> I found if you want to have a choice, you gotta go to the internet. <laughs> Alan, when did you know that we were, pardon my frankness, tits up? <laughs> Honestly, when they replaced Happy Gilmore with our show. Like, the baseball season, it was like, well, this happens to other shows. It, it, it happens with Fox because of the way they roll, they, they had baseball and every and other shows were suffering because of it. So we could say, ah, we're in the same kind of boat with these other shows, and yeah, it's a real drag, and shows overcome it and they get past it. But when there wasn't a baseball game and they showed a movie that had been out for years <laughs> and it got better ratings than us, <laughs> did it? They just showed up looking for fireflies, why? Wow. But that's because nobody knew the damn thing was on because they put the first episode last. But we all know this. We're talking to friends here. Uh, but when that happened, I knew that the people who were up in the Fox 
whatever the, the you know the big the big wigs over there probably right about then decided we were hosed. We were hosed. Um, yeah, but you know we we kept it. We I, I don't know, but I still maintained hope throughout up until the moment where Joss stuck his head in and went. I had to talk to you guys. I was like, ah, that moment. Um, he said, I don't have anything good to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I don't think I'd ever That's seen not that really this off. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not actually. You're right. You're right. Yeah. We're here. Let's, 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 let's have a happy question. Anyone I mean, happy? Oh, 